I don't know about amazing, but I do enjoy it. Thank you for that. Mixed reality is transforming the world of work and learning today. Good morning, and my name is Jamie Keen. I am a product director at Meta, and my team leads an area that might not be top of mind when you hear that I work at Meta's Reality Labs. We are building the foundations that enable organizations to adopt metaverse technologies, transforming how their users connect, learn, and innovate. We believe that immersive technologies help people expand their worlds. I'm sure everyone here would agree. And allow you to experience the previously unattainable. When you remove the fourth wall between people and the things that they're into, you enable discovery, you nurture imagination, and you free people from limits on their exploration. We've all seen how these experiences can transform many aspects of our lives. Think about bringing someone courtside to view the game rather than watching it on a 2D screen or just catching the highlights. Or even transforming your bedroom into your personal IMAX. Uh, or maybe even stepping directly inside of the game, controlling it with your entire body, and connecting with friends while you're doing so. I suspect these things here are the uses you think about when you hear meta MetaQuest or Reality Labs. My colleague Anand will be up in just a little bit to talk about how we're expanding the world for consumers. But first, I'm here to tell you that there is so much more our technology is already being used for, beyond entertainment, fitness, and gaming. Where do most of us spend the majority of our time? In the office, or maybe for a handful of you here in the classroom? These are places where encouraging innate human curiosity and nurturing imagination are actually critical. And they're made better by immersive and mixed reality technologies. We're already seeing businesses and universities that are driving new levels of learning, discovery, and productivity with these technologies. And that is what I get to talk to you about today. So first up, We'll spend some time talking about the innovation that businesses and universities are already seeing with mixed reality technologies. We'll highlight how these technologies are driving real outcomes and how they're solving problems for folks. Then, I want to talk to you a bit about what to look for from Meta later this year. And specifically, we're going to talk about Meta for Education. You might have seen a few weeks ago that we announced we'll be bringing out a product to help educators transform the classroom. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek on what that's going to look like. And lastly, like a lot of folks here, I think we'll touch on the ecosystem and how we continue to innovate there. Technology partners, independent software vendors, probably a lot of you I can't see in the audience here, are critical to fueling business and institution success and adoption of these technologies. We're committed to growing and supporting that ecosystem, so I want to talk to you about that. And with that, let's dive in. You might be familiar with Meta's mission. Our mission is to give people the power to build community and to bring the world closer together. It's fair to say, we care an awful lot about helping people make meaningful connections. And it might not be obvious at first, but those same connections that Meta helps you make in your personal life also have applicability in work or a learning context. We're each the same person when we walk into the office, when we walk into the classroom, that we are when we're hanging out on our couch at home. We're social beings. We rely on one another. When we're tackling new subjects, or trying to generate new ideas, or even um, maybe just trying to solve a problem, it's often feedback from our classmates from our colleagues that helps us get unstuck. When using mixed or immersive technologies, businesses and universities can create that deeper sense of social presence, which leads to a deeper sense of connection. That can launch new cycles of innovation, optimize collaboration, and boost learning outcomes. I want to take you through a few examples. 
And we're going to start first with bringing a new product to market. Mixed reality can take you from sketching in 2D to reviewing what your product is going to look like post-production without any costs or effort associated with producing that physical prototype. I bet a lot of you here have used mixed reality in exactly that way. In a recent study uh, we conducted with VR users, one third of them found it easier to identify improvements earlier in their process when they viewed a 3D model in VR versus a 2D model on a laptop. Mixed reality makes it easier to get more feedback more often at higher quality which ultimately is going to increase the uh, quality bar on that product you're producing. This is something that consumer packaged goods manufacturer Mondelez can attest to. Mondelez wanted to accelerate their pace of innovation so that they could grow their leadership position in snacking. They had two big problems to solve. First, they needed to accelerate their prototyping process and they needed to come up with better ways to test with consumers. So they used over 400 MetaQuest devices and partnered with our friends at Gravity Sketch to speed up their industrial design process. And they also worked with our partners at Arthur to build out a digital innovation center and streamline their R&D processes. They also turned to mixed reality to test new concepts with consumers. So, they built out virtual shelves to test out new packaging concepts. And they invite consumers into a virtual living room where they can watch their favorite TV shows and snack test. Now, all together, these initiatives took their 3D concepting phase down from weeks to hours. They're here this week, so I would encourage you to attend their session and actually learn more about how they drove these business outcomes. Now, mixed reality can also transform learning and training experiences to lead to better results. Mixed reality takes the learner from scrolling through a handbook to hands-on training, allowing people to gain experience from the safety of their headset. Trainers get to simulate dangerous, complex, or unpredictable scenarios, and learners get the opportunity to build the experience they're going to need for the job before they ever encounter those problems on the job. For this one, we'll turn to Pfizer. The pharmaceutical firm needed to train hundreds of operators after their COVID-19 vaccine was approved, but they had limited access to in-person training and a new manufacturing process that they needed to roll out. So they turned to MetaQuest and deployed over 500 out to operators and transformed a 100-page training manual, turned it into a suite of VR training applications, and took their learning immersive. You can see here on either side of me that the results really do speak for themselves. They saw 40 to 60% time savings in their VR training over non-VR options, and saved up to $23,000 per trainer trainee pair. The use of mixed reality was critical to Pfizer meeting their commitment to manufacture 4.5 billion doses of their COVID-19 vaccine. While we're talking about training, let's talk about Lufthansa as well. Earlier this year, Lufthansa announced that they are bringing Quest 3 to select business class flights. They're going to allow their passengers to enjoy a library of immersive content while they're in the air. But their use of immersive technology doesn't stop there. It actually spans multiple parts of their business. So when Lufthansa needed to train cabin crew and call center operators on their new long-haul seating experience, they couldn't get everyone onto a plane. It wasn't scalable to do that all the time for every person. So they used Quest devices as a scalable supplement to their physical replica. Again. 70 to 80% cost reduction, and a 10 times boost in audience engagement with the content. Pretty impressive, right? Now, the opportunity to transform learning can be even more impactful when we take it to a university level. Immersive technology takes learning in the classroom 
out of your textbook and puts it directly into the hands of students. Purdue did exactly that when they needed to train their next generation of nurses. In order to address a global or a national shortage of nurses, Purdue Global used VR to expand their reach across the United States. They needed a way to offer hands-on skills training to a geographically dispersed population. They needed to cover a wide range of scenarios, head-to-toe assessments, infant wellness exams, treating patients with any number of conditions. So they turned to Quest and VR, and students could practice as many times as they wanted, anywhere they wanted, and that led to really, really impressive outcomes here. They were able to reach 4,000 students thus far and saw a 10% boost in the passing rate on the national exam required to become a registered nurse. So I love this example. I think it illustrates the power that immersive technologies can have in the education space. And that brings me to one of my favorite launches for later this year, which is Meta for Education. Education is a space where we really believe VR and mixed reality can transform the day-to-day. -day. From a very young age, learning is social. You learn by watching others. You learn from what they do and from their experiences. Learning is about interaction. It's not just about regurgitating facts. And that's why the unique feeling of presence and immersion that you get in these headsets can be so impactful in education. We just saw how MR can enhance something like vocational training with Purdue, but I really think it has applicability to any lesson you can think of. Immersive learning is efficient and scalable compared to 2D or in-person options, and it achieves better outcomes. Students are more focused, they're more engaged, so they're more confident, and they retain more knowledge. Earlier this year, we uh, announced that we will be bringing out a product to help teachers bring subjects to life in new ways. Metaphor Education is going to launch later this year, supporting teachers, trainers, and their administrators. Educators will be able to easily identify the content they need for their lesson and effortlessly facilitate learning. IT administrators will be able to do pretty much anything you think they need to, manage devices at scale, remotely reset them, manage security settings, whatever they need. And most importantly, students will be able to easily access headsets, easily access their content, and improve their performance because they are seeing more immersive, more diverse, and more engaging experiences. It's going to be easy for educators to connect to their students in brand new ways. Now, I want to shift and talk for just a minute about our partner ecosystem because I know that's a lot of folks who are here today. And our partners are critical to how Quest is delivering impact for universities and for businesses. Everything I just talked about, all of those successes, rely on the solutions that are produced by independent software vendors in this room. You are the ones building out those amazing experiences for education institutions and for enterprises. You see a handful of them here, but our network of ISVs is over 900 strong and growing. And a lot of them are here talking about how they're helping businesses. I'd encourage you to attend their sessions this week. At Meta, we're committed to continuing to innovate with our ecosystem to make our platform easier to build on and make it easier to build thriving businesses with us because we really believe that it is us and you together that will make our customers more successful. And with that, my time is up. So I want to give you a quick recap. We saw how mixed reality is transforming business outcomes at places like Mondelez, Pfizer, and Lufthansa. We saw the scale you can reach in using this technology and education with Purdue Global, and got a little sneak peek of what's coming on Meta for Education later this year. We touched briefly on the partner ecosystem and how they're fueling the adoption of metaverse technologies in business and university settings. I'm pretty sure I have the best job at Meta. 
I get to work at the forefront of new technology, and I get to bring it to places like organizations, businesses, institutions, where it's going to fundamentally shape key parts of our day-to-day -day lives. I hope this talk has inspired you, given you a little bit of insight into how our technology can expand the world for work and for learning. And now, I have the privilege of introducing you to my colleague, Anand Das, who's going to talk to you about how we're doing the same thing for our consumers. Anand, come on up. All right. Good job. All right, OK. Thank you, Jamie. The energy in this room is off the charts. This is my fifth AWE, and every time I show up here, the community gets larger, it's growing. That's awesome. I'm here to give you guys two updates. First, give you guys an update about how the MetaQuest developer community is expanding the world of consumer experiences. And two, share plans on how we're going to further support founders building these experiences that are made for Quest and businesses born on Quest. And I have five minutes, so let's go. Um, the Quest store continues to grow and be successful. Over $2 billion has been spent on games and apps, and the Quest store has over 500 dedicated 3D spatial experiences and thousands more in the App Lab. With Quest 3, we're seeing this momentum accelerate. Users are spending more time, more money, and we're seeing better attention. So things are looking great for the platform, which means it's going to be great for the developers and consumers. Over the last decade, developers have created exceptional gaming experiences to further the adoption of this technology and drive the growth of the MetaQuest platform. Over the last five years, we've seen new categories of experiences adjacent to video games emerge. Things like fitness and wellness. Whether it's working out in FedExR or Les Mills, or meditating in Trip, whether it's pursuing your passion of learning music with Piano Vision, or traveling to fantastical places that you can't get to with Brink, it is inspiring to see founders like Sam at FedExR, Nanea at Trip, Zach at Piano Vision, Aiken at Brink, and so many more founders create incredible experiences that are made for Quest and build businesses that are born on Quest. What we're now seeing is with Quest 3, this momentum is continuing to accelerate in the founder and the developer community. We're seeing a new class of experience emerge. Experiences that integrate into the lifestyle of the consumer. Experiences that help people do what they already love better. Things that help them level up their skills or connect with others over shared interests. These are experiences that integrate the daily habits of consumers and appeals to users beyond the core gamer in the family. So maybe the mom, maybe the young adults in the household. And we're seeing a lot of early innovation with founders and developers prototyping and hacking at these use cases. For example, Flavor, which leverages AI with the power of the MetaQuest mixed reality platform to reimagine what cooking would feel like. Or Astra, which is using mixed reality to figure out what a clueless closet experience for fashion would look like, or Verse Tales, which is trying to reimagine what does it feel like to read a book in this new medium, or Pencil, which is thinking about what does art and craft in the real world mean when you're augmented with the superpowers of the Quest platform. There are so many more problems to solve and value to deliver to consumers, things that we haven't even thought about, beauty, fashion, dating, music, and a lot more. These new experiences with Quest 3 have a pattern. They're built with mixed reality and the MetaQuest presence platform capabilities. They have interactions that are intuitive, controller-free, often hands-first or sometimes hands-only. They're social by default, and we're seeing super early signals of developers using AI, not just to make the experience fun, but really useful to consumers. Each one of these pillars by itself is interesting. But when you put them together, they create an experience that integrates into the lifestyle of the consumer, and it's super powerful. So to support this organic innovation that is happening in the ecosystem, 
Today, we are excited to announce for the first time at AWE the Meta Quest Lifestyle App Accelerator. You can clap, thank you. Yeah, it's a mouthful, but it's intentional. Um, this is a brand new six month program for Quest developers and founders to prototype new lifestyle experiences with mixed reality, hands, and AI. We want to support founders who are interested in building fun, retentive, engaging consumer experiences that leverage the superpowers of the MetaQuest platform in emerging lifestyle categories like food and art and music and crafts and dating and fashion and beauty and things that we haven't even thought about, which a lot of you are hacking at. The Accelerator provides three resources to founders. One, dedicated seed stage funding to prototype as a small team and produce a prototype in under six months. Two, access to technical product and design resources to build your prototype. And three, dedicated mentorship and coaching to build both retentive experiences, but also successful businesses on the MetaQuest platform. And we're not doing this alone. We are partnering with the world's best investors who are committed to our vision of mixed reality and virtual reality. These are investors who have backed founders who have built experiences made for Quest and created businesses that were born on Quest. All right, details. Applications are open now, and I think my team just hit the launch button, so you can take out your phones and the QR code will get you to the link. Um, we'll close applications by the 15th of October. So if you're looking to build fun consumer experiences in some of the categories we talked about, like music or art or fashion or cooking or decorations or do-it-yourself or hobbies or things that we haven't even talked about today that will be fun, engaging, retentive consumer experiences, we want to hear from you and we want to support you and do whatever we can to help you along in your journey. Over the next three years, we're gonna, next three days, we're going to be at booth 401 downstairs in the hall. So stop by and we're happy to answer all your questions and see how we can be helpful as you build novel experiences on the Quest platform for consumers. Let's build the future together. Thank you.